Hey there, mission winners. Pat Walker here, and boy oh boy, do we have a market update that'll make you sit up and take notice. Today's session was hotter than a 4th of July barbecue, and I'm here to break it all down for you. Let's start with the headline numbers, because there's something to behold. The S&P 500 climbed a whopping 2.3%, the Russell 2000 wasn't far behind with a 2.4% gain, and the Nasdaq Composite, it soared 2.9%. Even the old reliable Dow Jones Industrial Average got in on the action with a solid 1.8% gain. Now that's what I call a rally, folks. So what lit a fire under this market? Well, it all started with that weekly jobless claims report. Initial claims dropped by 17,000 to 233,000. That's the kind of number that makes economists do a happy dance. It's pouring cold water on those recession fears that have been hanging around like a bad smell. Now, before we dive into the rest of today's market action, I want to remind you all to hit that like button if you're enjoying the show. Subscribe to stay up to date with all our market insights, and don't forget to drop your questions in the comments below. I love hearing from you, and your questions help me make these reports even more valuable. Now let's get back to the market. All right, let's talk bonds for a second. After that jobless data hit the wires, market rates jumped faster than a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. The 10-year note yield settled at 4%, and the 2-year note yield hill hit 4.4%. That's the market's way of saying, hey, maybe things aren't so doom and gloom after all. Now, let's talk about some standout performers. Eli Lilly, wow. Up 9.5% after knocking it out of the park with their earnings report. And those semiconductor stocks. The PHLX Semiconductor Index jumped 6.9%. That's the kind of move that'll make you dance a jig. But here's the real kicker. This wasn't just a few big names carrying the load. All 11 S&P 500 sectors closed higher, and 29 out of 30 Dow components were in the green. That's what I call a good, clean rally, folks. Year to date, we're looking pretty good, too. The S&P 500 is up 11.5%, and the NASDAQ composite isn't far behind at 11%. Even our smaller cap friends in the Russell 2000 are holding their own, up 2.8% for the year. Remember, team, in this market, it's all about finding those clean and simple patterns. Today's action is giving us a nice clear signal, but don't get complacent. Always be ready to adapt, because in this game, things can change faster than a hiccup. This is Pat Walker signing off. Stay sharp, stay focused, and I'll catch you next time on Mission Winners.